they want to repeat that action again for us. So the first thing we need to do is teach our dogs that the clicker means you did it right. This is not an attention getting device. It's not something you click repeatedly to try to get your dogs to come over to you. In fact, doing that could actually keep them from learning what the true meaning of the clicker is. So make sure you always use it appropriately. So we're going to go straight into charging the clicker or loading the clicker as some people will call it. All right, so charging the clicker is teaching your dog that every time it hears the sound of the click, it's going to get something good. That's going to make it want to work for the clicker. It's going to make them want to offer behaviors for you. So first of all, before we actually ask them to do any sort of trick, to accommodate them with this concept, we've got to click and immediately treat right away. Now these two know what the clicker means. So they're already paying a lot of attention to me when I've got it out, when they know that we're in training mode. So you may find that your dog is a little distracted during this process and that's okay. Just wait until you've got his attention, click and treat. Another thing that I like to do when I'm charging a clicker is pair it with the word yes. Yes. And that way even without a clicker I've still got a consistent way to tell the dog that it's done something correctly. So our first trick is going to be spin. Very simple trick that you can teach and it looks really cool when you do it right. So let's start with OV. And you'll notice sometimes I'll put Cricket aside when I'm not working with her. Every now and then I'm going over and rewarding her for staying in that position. So that's just a really quick tip on how to work with two dogs at once. Um, the clicker does not confuse them if you've got more than one dog you're working with. Same goes if you're in an obedience class and everybody's clicking. The dogs quickly learn which master and which clicker is actually for them. Cricket down. Stay. Obi. All right. So with the spin command, very easy, going back and luring, keep your treat by the nose, he's offering a paw, <laughs> and just kind of pull it around. As soon as he completes a circle, click and treat. As simple as that. Let's try that again. All the way around. Yes. I'm pairing my click with the word yes. That way we can use either one. Yes. And quickly he catches on to what I want. Very fast. Once you have your dog reliably performing the behavior that you're trying to teach, you can add the verbal command and you can start introducing the actual hand signal. So for my signal for spin, I want to do this, and he's already getting it. It's just an adaptation of the luring. And at the same time, spin, yes, very good. So Obi's really got the idea of his trick now, Obi's spin. Position. 
Um, later on, I add a few other variations which involve stay, but for now, we'll just stick with the basic flopping over from the down position. OB down. Yes. Tell him yes, just so he knows that's what I wanted. All right, now back to trying to lure him to his side. Yes. OB down. Yes. Back to luring him over. Yes. Good job. Good job. Again, I'm adding our cue after he's shown that he's understanding what's going on. Bang. Yes. Notice I'm, again, pulling my hand farther and farther away from his